The title of this podcast is Whatever is Wrong Inside Will Be Projected on the Outside. I think it says it all. If I am disturbed inside, I will take that disturbance and I will actually uh, project it uh, on those around me or situations uh, that I think should be different. Um, it shows up time and time again. I think in one example of it, it would be you know, you've heard, may, perhaps you've heard when someone's at work all day and they get yelled at by the boss, they come home and they kick the dog and it had nothing to do with the dog, right? Because they were disturbed inside by something that happened uh, in the workplace that they bring that home. And that has certainly been true of me. And before I started doing the practice, uh, I didn't really do a deep dive of like where this, uh, this outward projection of disturbance and suffering was coming from. And even now, I don't think a lot of it is really valuable to look that deep, at least for me. I just really want to just let it go. If something disturbs me inside, I just want to let it go. I'm going to take the road that leads to uh, inner peace, that leads with joy and bliss, regardless of what the situation is. And that has certainly been uh, really helpful to me. Uh, you know, it might be different for other people. For me, it was the need to try to control uh, situations that were not within my control. Uh, that I would take that frustration out on uh, those around me uh, in different ways. So I didn't yell much, but let's say that I expected the stock market to be up, you know, when I was doing financial planning and it was down. Uh, I would be easily frustrated or irritated by something that someone else did, especially if I immediately got in a car and started driving. And I wouldn't know where that came from, but that was because I was disturbed inside. For other people, it may be something um, a lot more uh, serious, um, or I guess it's all the same, but it could be like insecurity, you know, um, with a loved one. You know, you want them to be a certain way or you want to you're so attached to them without acknowledging that this attachment that you become very insecure or jealous when they have other activities uh, that they're involved with that may not include you. You think that it is a, a an offense, an affront uh, to you when it's certainly not. It, it doesn't have to be that way. And so you project that in different ways that disturbance, you perhaps you withhold affection and, and, and love and connection, or you start to make these uh, demands on the other person about the way they should be behaving uh, as a loved one, whether it's a child or a significant other, all of which is just really a reflection of you not being okay inside. And um, I really worked on this not being the case for me, you know? And especially about things that I fear, uh, one of the things that I used to fear was uh, not reaching my full potential. And so that would show up in a few ways. Maybe, you know, sometimes it would be anxiousness or it would show up in this uh, in this complete dedication to being perfect, even though that is not uh, it is, is something that doesn't occur. And if I'm playing a game, I would expect myself to be operating at the highest level and then and, and and playing well. And I would expect the same thing of my partner if we were teammates. In the workplace, it may be that I'm giving a presentation and I expect that that to be perfect, too, in terms of all the people that are that are there working on behalf of pulling the show off. And it can show up in a lot of different ways. You could be doing business that requires on a lot of marketing. And so because you're not okay, you expect perfection uh, from others. You may be hosting an event and instead of being grateful and thankful to other people because you're disturbed about the event going a certain way, you come down really hard on them for doing things that you want a certain way without giving them the, you know, um, 
the full your full partnership or expressing you know heartfelt gratitude for the contributions that they made whether they are uh small or or large comp, uh contributions that they made to the effort so it shows up in many different ways but the bottom line uh that I'm getting at here is is that whatever is wrong inside of you will be projected on the outside whatever it is this starts and ends with you once you take that kind of responsibility, once you exercise that kind of agency, you will find that life changes considerably for the better, a better experience. And that's where I'm trying to live. I'm trying to make sure that I'm okay inside so that I'm not projecting negativity uh, uh, to others. I hope you will join me. Mm -hmm.